Hey fellas, how you doing? This is uh, Lee McCain, and you probably don't know who I am. And that's okay, uh, we're going to get to know each other here over the next uh, hour or so. But in all likeliness, your significant other bought this CD to try to introduce you from a guy's perspective into the subject known as the Law of Attraction, or The Secret. Maybe your significant other has been uh, telling you about the secret, hinting about the secret. You might not know what it is. It, it might seem to you like a bunch of foolishness. Well, let me tell you, I was about a decade ago exactly where you are now. I did not uh, believe in the Law of Attraction. I thought it was foolish. I thought it was just plain poppycock. Absolute uh, silliness. Um, I used to, for lack of a better word, laugh at my wife behind her back. Uh, and, of course, you may not know who she is. Her name is Beth McCain, and she is an absolute expert in all things Law of Attraction. She's an amazing woman. Uh, I'm sure you have an amazing significant other as well. And so you know what that's like, to be in love with someone that is just your absolute everything. And then... They have this. They exhibit this one quirk, this funny little quirk, this uh, this law of attraction thing. You know, what's this all about? Uh, you know, obsessed with Oprah, watching The Secret, watching Jack Canfield, everything that goes on concerning this. Um, oh, this, this this new thing, The Secret. You know, and and what happens is you you get kind of uh, flummoxed by it. it. It maybe interferes in your life a little bit. And you think, you know, the person's crazy. What, what the heck are they doing here? You know, don't they realize that the way you get ahead is, is you work, you know, 95 hours a week and, and you put up with the boss you can't stand and, and all this? Well, what the Law of Attraction espouses is that you really don't have to do that. Life is meant to be easy. Life is meant to be a wonderful thing. Life is meant to be a playground. It's meant to be a sandbox. It's meant to be a place where you and your significant other can enjoy each other, uh, have financial abundance, not have to worry about things like hunting and gathering, you know, like, like the cavemen did. We, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, of course, we have our careers, we do our, our jobs, but, but those are secondary or, 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 or trendary to, to uh, what is important in life, which is our, our children, our family, our, our wives, our people who are important to us. And it's all there for the taking. I, I know that it probably comes off sounding like a, a, a religious kind of uh, enlightenment thing, you know, all new age and all that, but really the law of attraction is none of those things. The law of attraction is a universal gift that the universe, as part of the universe, just like we have stars and planets and, and, and space and, and and everything that makes up this great, uni uh, this great universe physically, we also have the law of attraction. That is part of the universe. It's part of our inheritance. It's part of our gift. Uh, it's part of ourselves. It's, it's, it's part of who we are. Uh, just like we have uh, bone mass, m uh, muscles, uh, organs that, 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 that uh, you know, help us uh, use our physical bodies, we also come equipped with knowledge inherent of the law of attraction. The problem is, almost from birth, what happens is, we get it stomped out of us. We get the law of attraction suppressed. Uh, the world at large suppresses it. Families who don't know about it suppress it. Uh, and when we come of age, you know, past our teens, it's just no longer a part of us anymore. And then life is difficult. Life becomes something that it shouldn't be. So what we're going to be talking about over this next uh, hour of this CD is we're going to be examining the Law of Attraction, but we're going to do it from a guy's perspective, because guys, face it, we have special quirks ourselves that keep us from things uh, sometimes that are best for us. And usually it's our significant other who's pointing us in the right direction. My regret, if I have any in life, is that I waited so long before meeting and using and having the Law of Attraction be a major part of my life. We want to avoid that for you. What we want to do for you is uh, make sure that you know all about it, know how to implement it, know where to find the information, uh, and you also can start working hand-in-hand -hand with your significant other in terms of using the Law of Attraction. There's no reason why you can't. And so the person who purchased the CD for you obviously loves you very much. Uh, they want you to, to know about this. They want you to understand why it works for them. 
They want you to understand that there are more of us out there than are given credit for in terms of number of people who use The Secret or The Law of Attraction. And especially since The Secret film came out a couple of years ago, the world has a whole new renaissance about The Law of Attraction. So here's your introduction. Let's, uh, let's get you sorted out, hop on the bandwagon, and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful life. A life that's full of abundance, a life that's full of uh, all the joys, and all of the things that you've really wanted since you were a child. That is what we're going to be doing here. Let's start with one thing, and that is, why do girls seem to love it? and have no problem connecting with the law of attraction. I mean, uh, it's even more than just Oprah says so. It's one of those things where it, they just seem natural to it. And why do us guys have such a problem getting with the program? Uh, and a lot of it has to do with basic guy issues. And that's why I'm doing this program. And Beth, my wife and, and partner, and also my uh, partner in the law of attraction, is not here with us today. This is just between you and me, guys. As a matter of fact, um, I'm hoping that you guys are, you know, sitting down in an easy chair, uh, you know, smoking a cigar, drinking a beer, whatever, you're, <laughs> whatever you'd like to do whenever you do these kind of things, uh, and are relaxing and are just letting this kind of wash over you a little bit without anyone else around, even your significant other. Because it all boils down to this. Us guys have pride. There, there's a reason that a group of lions are called a pride. I think it has to do with, with, with the pride inherent in that lionic behavior. And most of us guys, especially us type A, who uh, are out there slaying the world and, and, and trying to do great in our corporate executive worlds or our, or our uh, machine shop worlds or, or whatever it is we do, we want to be the best at it all. And so that pride, which, while it can be a good thing, also can keep you away from things. We all want to do what's best for us, and we all want to do what's best for our families. No one can deny that at all. Uh, but sometimes that little hint of pride will get you so that you're not seeing great things when they come your way. And I think, coupled with the fact that it's so simple as to be unbelievable, that is why most guys are not approachable when it comes to the Law of Attraction, and why immediately they go into defensive mode and we'll, uh, you know, completely dismiss it. I know I did that. I did that for nearly two years while Beth was successfully practicing the LOA and having a great time doing it, and her whole life had just completely turned around. There I was, wallowing in my own guy situation, just not getting it. So what we want to do is try to help you get past that pride issue so that you can kind of open up your eardrums here and see how this whole thing works. And then, you know, in time, try it out for yourself and see if it works for you. I'll tell you, I'm not much of a guy who'll sit around and guarantee, but I'll guarantee you this will work. If you do it the right way, if you get yourself involved in it, you know, talk with your significant other who's already practicing it, um, and start to uh, enjoy some success with it, you'll understand that you can, you can parlay this into anything you want, anything you desire. You know, it can be something as silly as just a car. A new car, you know, some uh, some things for the house, a new house, whatever, you know, obviously the physical things, the, uh, the financial type things. That's the easiest part, believe it or not. But what it will also do is it's going to help your relationships. It's going to help with every aspect of your life. And so uh, just kind of stick with me here and, and let's see if, if we can't uh, have this make sense for you. But before we move on to the next segment, I have a question for you. What do you want? What do you want in life? Can you just kind of like, as, as we go into the, to the next little piece of music here and get into the next segment, think about that for a few moments. What is it you really, really want? And then ask yourself if this is something that you would want to try to achieve that. Something as simple as the Law of Attraction. So I'll see you after the little break here and we will uh, start discussing exactly how it works.